Hey guys, continuing onwards from um, part one where we imported the DWG title block, I will now show you in part number two how to create um, rows and columns that are intelligent. First of all, we've exploded the title block in part number one. What I need to do now is I need to delete all these rows and column numbers. And that will take a while, so we'll just fast forward until I deleted everything. Now you can use Windows Select as well, but I don't. Um, I didn't want to delete these small lines over here, so that's why I was deleting them manually. Okay, now that the rows and column numbers are gone, it's time to place the SolidWorks electrical attributes um, for the, the row and the column. But first, before um, I will start doing these attributes, I want to show you something. Um, we don't only need to place the row and column attributes, we also need to specify in the actual title block properties uh, how many rows and how many columns there are used and what their positions are. Now let's have a look first at the rows. Um, it asks me here what the mark is of the first row. Now, what we need to do here is I'm just going to zoom in into this corner over here and um, we're going to look at the position or the start position of the first row. Now the first row starts over here and finishes over here. So what you do is you look at the Y position at the left bottom corner of my screen which starts at approximately 280 and we go all the way down to here and that will stop at 235 which gives us a difference of approximately 45. So we can just simply fill that in over here. Mark of the first row is 280. Uh, sorry, mark of the first row is the actual start number. So we have to fill in one over here. If you want to start at zero, you can just simply fill in zero and electrical, SolidWorks electrical will start numbering at zero. The first row position is going to be 280 and the height of a row is going to be minus 45. Now why minus? Because we are going in the minus direction, so down there. Now what's the number of rows? I think we had six. And we do exactly the same thing for the columns. So the columns are over here. And mark is just going to be one. I want to start numbering at one. First column position is going to be from here. And now for columns, we look in the X at the X coordinates. So not the Y. So we start at approximately 10, I would say. If I move my mouse over a little bit. And the first column stops over here somewhere, which gives us approximately a width of 40. So my first column position 10 is correct. My first or the width of the column is also correct. However, the number of columns, we're going to use 10 in our sheet. It's very important that we fill in this information over here. Um, otherwise, the numbering will not happening will not happen correctly so once we've identified and fill in the title block properties let's go ahead and add row and column attributes first of all place the rows and double click over here and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit now you want to place it somewhere in the middle I guess so I'm just gonna place it over here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pre-select it. So left click to pre-select, select array. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to specify how many rows we want. Six. We want only one column. The row offset here is the same offset as we've used down here in the properties. So that was minus 45. And the column offset doesn't really matter because we've got only one. Now if I click on OK and zoom out a bit. You can see now that we've got our six rows placed over here. Okay, so we can use the array tool up here to quickly um, yeah, place multiple attributes. So we do the same for column, double click on column, place that nicely in the middle somewhere. 
and let's use the attribute or let's use array again so pre-selected left click on array this time we're gonna have one row and we've got 10 columns the column offset we specified was 40 and clicking ok that will create all our columns okay so that's how easy it is to place those columns now before I finish and um, test this title block, I want to show you one more thing. I'm just going to zoom in down here at the bottom. And as you can see, we've got already, um, there are already some attributes from um, AutoCAD Electrical uh, that have been placed on our title block. We can simply replace them by right clicking on an attribute, left click on replace and the title block attribute selector screen show comes up we can just simply select here um, drawing and this is going to be my um, drawing mark and by selecting that you can see it will now update that automatically with the solidworks electrical tag now before we finish let's just test this so i'm just going to save this title block and go to my project manager and let's start a new test project here accept that specify some information here Let that unarchive the project and if we now change my electrical title block scheme and change that to the imported dwg that we just created we can now see one two three one two three so that's correct and zooming in on I, over here you can see that the customer data that i've just filled in in my project it's automatically mapped on our electrical drawing now if you want um, instead of numbers numbers you want to have letters so a b c you can change that automatically in the project properties by going to the project tab drop down configurations and select project and the new project settings screen comes up we left click on mark and over here for rows we click on the formula manager and then simply select rows identified by numbers or by letters click on ok click on ok to accept that and if i zoom in now we've got a b c d etc right guys thanks for watching and see you all next week